pretty, you were feeling down. pretty comfortable. Yeah. I was there last week anyway. Oh, so, yeah. <coughs> we'll wait a little bit uh, for till others, right? Uh, yeah, it's all good. Peaceful, yeah. So far, things going okay? Adam? So far, everything is okay? Like, uh, the yeah, movies? yeah, like it's, it's just pretty much sort of uh, reinforcing what we learned this yeah, time last correct. year at, at the correct. moment, yeah, which is correct, sort yeah. of a good basis to, to restart on. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. But yeah, I've also, um, I'm doing the protection class with uh, Sidji. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's, that's going pretty good. Okay. Being in the industry helps a lot, I think. Okay. Um, rather yeah. than just coming in cold. That's that's very good actually. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, <laughs> then you touch the things, right? Like, uh, so then you can easily understand the things. Yeah. Right? There's a, there's a lot more practical application to it, and yeah, yeah, it makes things a lot easier. Otherwise, it is like virtual, right? Like you have to imagine things. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, and, and you know, you're coming in with understanding that you can, you can bring to it, and yeah, otherwise you'd you're just learning as you go. That's correct. Like yeah. I, I had the same feeling like when I'm doing my masters. Uh, so uh, things like uh, when I'm learning databases and so on. So yeah. by that time, like I have done a lot of work with those. So then I can easily understand. I managed to uh, easily understand these concepts and things like that. The uh, yeah. log log type of thing. Yeah, definitely. Of queries. So when I'm first doing it in undergraduate, it is like all memorizing things. Yeah, yeah. Not very convenient, but uh, somehow I managed to answer the questions. It's like, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I always think like that, even a student, like it is good to take like uh, maybe some year break even after school before joining the university. Yeah. So, yeah, I've, uh, I haven't been doing, I didn't do study for, oh, nine or eight years i think it was from when i did my electrical apprenticeship okay so it, it definitely been a while <laughs> mm. and i went straight in and did uh engineering maths and and that was um that was interesting but i got there <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah even like when a student selecting a field so they need to have some like a uh, kind of opportunity to test fund these uh, careers like so yeah. maybe if they can go to industry and do some electrical work and also some other discipline. So likewise, if, if they can try it a little bit, they can decide yeah, and they can yeah. make a good decision, no? Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. definitely having some practical yeah, application to what you've learnt is, uh, mm -hmm. is a great thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not sure whether it is uh, due today. Like, uh, so they should have like uh, received my message right regarding the class i think uh, yeah yeah I, I got your email um yeah so i should know but hmm. because it is a uh, seven four we'll start no so then yeah yeah we'll start otherwise like uh, but uh, this time we have uh, 13 students in the class registered students i think they are active in the mood anyway they are watching the videos and so on yeah, um, I guess so. You'd hope so. Milton, you are the one who asked for the, like a uh, seven o'clock, or uh, no, no, I was, I was just happy. Yeah, I think you suggested that, um, right at the start, and mm. yeah, that was that was fine. Works for me. You're okay with like uh, six o'clock also? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it doesn't worry yeah. me, but the protection ones at six o'clock. Oh yeah, so that's good. Like because uh, then it is convenient for me. Otherwise, I I have to stay in the wind tech like uh, till seven to start the class. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> then I can do the class at six o'clock and yeah, I can finish it at seven o'clock. That you is were doing, uh, more um, convenient for me. Yeah. You did electrical principles from home last time, didn't you? That's correct. Yeah, that's yeah. correct. Yeah, this time like I yeah I think uh, like here when I'm in wind tech I can focus. Uh, uh, Oh, it's a little bit because easier for you. My babies are there. Oh, radio. Yeah. Here and there. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I talk of uh, doing it here. Yeah. Sometimes his noise comes to the class also. Oh, uh -huh. radio. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing happened to some of you also, like from the background. 
AP or some noise. Yeah, yeah, I've heard, I've heard that before. Yeah, I generally try to sort of mute my mic. Um, so yeah, this is <laughs> the sort of so background noises don't chip in, but um, <laughs> it's just me at home tonight, so it's not too bad. Yeah. This is, okay, we'll start the class. Right. Okay, so I'll disable my video. <laughs> Uh, you can see this, right? Uh, yep. Okay, so what is the last question we discuss? Uh, is it... Uh, let's have a look here. Oh, hold on, hold on page. Did we discuss this uh, question for... Yeah, I'm just looking at my answers that I've written down just to see where we ended up. Um... I think we did five point. I think we did example four. Okay, like one with capacitor, right? Okay. Yeah. Then I think we didn't discuss a uh, fifth one, right? Did we? Because having. Uh, <coughs> oh. No, I don't think so. Shall we discuss uh, it now, then? Yeah, yeah, I didn't actually write it down, okay. but, we, but we did. Anyway. Okay, now okay. Now read the question and try to attend it. Uh, so yep. then I'll get a little bit of time, so then after that I'll explain it, okay? That's all good. Okay, first uh, we will look at uh, the setup, okay? Yep. So, yeah, three coils, each having resistance 6 and inductance L, are connected yep. in uh, star and in delta to a 415 volt, 50 hertz, three-phase supply. If the line current is 30 ampere, fine, for each connection the value of L, okay? So the current and uh, voltages are given, this voltage means line voltage, so this setup is something like this, no? So we have resistor and we have inductor. Yep. So then again, we have inductor like this. 
resistor like this uh, let's say these are like this l3 now line to line voltage that is uh, 415 yep and current so that should be 30 ampere what are the given values like this resistance also given that is uh, 6 ampere right uh, sorry 6 ohms That's 6 ohms yeah this is l okay what we need to find here uh, we need to find the resistance of the inductor. Mm -hmm. uh, we oh, the, actually, no. We'll we find the phase. We'll find the phase voltage first. The yeah. line voltage first. What we need to find is eventually inductance value, right? Inductance. We need to find inductance. Yeah. What is the strategy like uh, to find that inductance? So we need to find uh, phase voltage. Uh, yeah, we need to find the phase voltage, then after. And then we can find the resistance of the inductor. Uh, both, can right? We? Impedance. Oh, the impedance, sorry. Impedance. impedance Once we have the impedance, together. because oh, yeah. we know six ohms, we can yeah. find uh, in reactance of the L, right? When we know the reactance, yeah. so then we know the frequency and everything, then we can find L. Yes. Okay. 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 Now, uh, tell me what is the phase voltage? Uh, it'll be two thirty nine. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, two hundred thirty nine. No. Yeah. So that's uh, four fifteen okay. divided by root three. That's correct. Yep. Okay. That means V P is equal um, uh, four hundred and fifteen divided by root three. That is. Yep. 239.6 no yep six volt very good uh, then after that uh, okay so what will be the impedance impedance should be equal so that'll be like uh, z equals square root of r squared plus xl mm. squared yeah impedance so that mean total right Total of six ohms. Oh, like total. This. Oh, so yeah. it'll be two thirty nine divided by thirty. So that'll be that's, that's correct, phase yeah. voltage divided by. That's correct. Yeah, that's correct. It is ohms law. Amps. Yeah. Mm, that's correct. So how much that will be? Yeah, uh, seven point nine six ohms. Okay, seven point nine. Isn't it nine nine? I'll check. You call it nine eight if you round it. Ah, yeah, that, that's correct, yeah. right? Nine yep. nine eight. That means when we yep. round it, that's seven cool. point nine nine. No. Yes, wait, yes, yep. Okay, that's correct. Now, how we find the reactance? That means X L. We need to find what is X L. Okay, that means reactance of the inductor. So yeah. So then, is it mean the magnitude that is equal? So that'll be the the square root of um r squared plus xl squared that's correct right yeah okay so then this is equal 7.99 is equal maybe square of this one is equal six square plus xl square agree uh yep okay so then um, how we find now? So we need to make X uh, L is the. We need to. Yeah, X L is equal square root of seven point nine nine square minus six square. Agree? Yep. Okay. So then, what will be the answer? All right. Let's punch into the calculator. Yeah. Got the answer? Yeah. yeah hold on. I'm just. Work in the calculator. Okay. So that is now we have Ben and Kiran. Guys, you all good? 
Uh, so is it 5.27? Very good, yeah, that's the answer. Uh, Henry's? Yeah. No, yes. No, not Henry, 5.27, no. still it is ohms. Oh, still ohms. That is reactance, okay? That is reactance. So that's so X, now, yeah, but now we need to find L, don't we? That's correct, yeah. Now, so what is the reactance of uh, like uh, inductor? It is XL is equal to pi FL, right? Yep. Now this is equal uh, 5.27. Now I will erase it because I don't have enough space. Uh, so 2 pi F L that is equal 5.27. So then L is equal 5.27 divided by 2 pi. What is the frequency here? What is the given frequency? That is 50, right? Uh, 50 ohms, yeah. Uh, 50 hertz. Oh, yeah, that's correct. 50 hertz. Now, what is the answer? If you simplify this one. Uh, 41.69. Mm. Double check the answer. Five point two seven divided by no. Double check the answer. It is different. Oh, all right. On second thought, is it sixteen point seven seven? Very good. Sixteen point seven seven. That's correct. Sixteen point seven seven. What is the unit? As it Henry's this time? Mm, no, it's milli Henry. Oh, milli Henry's, okay. Because the answer you should get 0 0.016, right? Isn't it? 0 0.01677, okay? So. No, I just got 16.77. Uh, <laughs> How you got it <laughs> like that? I don't know. My calculator's. Please uh, double check like 5.27 divided by. Uh, 2 pi multiplied by 50. That should be within bracket, okay? Did you put bracket here? Oh, yeah, got some brackets in. Yeah, that's good, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, hope you all got this uh, answer. Ben, Kiran, you got the answer? Are you guys with us, guys? Ben? Not sure these guys recording it or maybe okay. No, nah, yeah, I'm here. Sorry, Tom. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry, normally, I can normally just hold the space bar and it'll run mute, but it's not doing that tonight for some reason. Okay. Okay, got the answer? Yeah, yep, yeah, definitely got that answer. I watched um last week's night class last okay. night, so I'm pretty okay. free. From it. Yeah, it's good. Okay. How about Kiran? Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So, Okay, guys, uh, what is the second part of it? You need to do the same calculation for delta network, right? Now, this time, <clears throat> okay, so I will erase this. So it'll be the same process pretty much, won't it? Yeah, um, that's correct. Instead of you'll be using the uh, 
line voltage and you'll be taking the uh, 30 amps and, and dividing that by root 3 to get a, a um, phase current. That's correct, yeah. That is how we solve it, yeah. 450, 30 amp, 6 ohms, this is L, okay? Yeah, now what is the first thing to do? Again, we need to find the impedance, right? Now what is the phase voltage? Phase voltage, that is same as line voltage, right? That is 450. But uh, what about the phase current? Yes, guys, what about the phase current? It should be line current divided by root 3, okay? So that means 30 divided by root 3 17.32, right? Ampere. Guys, you agree? Yeah. Okay, now uh, what is the next step? Um, find the uh, resistance of the inductor. Yeah, very impedance, okay? Impedance of the network. Find the impedance of the network. Okay. Okay, what is the impedance of the network? That is simple Ohm's law, right? Isn't it? VP yeah. divided by So 415 IP, right? divided by 17.32. Yeah. So 415 divided by 17.32. What is the answer here? Uh, 23.96 ohms. Very, yeah, very good. Yeah, that's correct. 23.96. Okay, now, okay guys, now what is the next step? Mm. Now you know the impedance, okay? Square it, square it, and then subtract six mm. squares of it. Yeah, this impedance mean, uh, magnitude of the impedance, that mean, Okay, uh, XL, that means reactance of the uh, inductor square plus, so resistance square, right? You guys agree? Yeah. Okay, now XL reactance square plus uh, this square is equal 23.96 square, right? Okay, now tell me what is XL when you simplify this one. You have to take the square root of this, okay, to find the answer. 23.22. That's correct, yeah. 23.2 ohms, yeah. Okay, now how we find uh, L? XL mean 2 pi F. L that is equal to 23.2, okay? LD is equal 23.2 divided by 2 pi 50, okay? So what is the answer? 73.9 millihenries. Okay, 73 point. Guys, you all got the answer? Guys, you all got the answer? Is that this, guys? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Millie Henry, right?
Okay, now that is the answer. That is how we solve that sort of question. And you can expect a question like this uh, at your exam, right? Okay, guys, are you all okay? Okay, guys, uh, now with the next question. Question seven. Guys, how we solve it? First, I will draw the uh, diagram. So, okay. So, um, maybe what uh, it says is, guys, uh, we have a generator, alternator like this, star type, like this. So, then this is connected to delta type. Okay. Now this is uh, 65 amp, okay. And what about the line voltage, line to line voltage, that is 380. Okay, are you guys clear about the setup? Guys, are you guys happy with the setup? It looks good. Okay. Now, the phase voltage of the alternator. What will be the phase voltage of the alternator? How we calculate that? If the line voltage is a uh, 380, then phase voltage that should be 380 divided by uh, root three. You guys agree? Guys, yeah. you all agree with this? Yeah. Okay. So then what will be the value answer here? 219.4. That's correct. 219.4 volt, okay. So then the alternator phase current. So what is the phase current? So that means this current In a star connected I, system, the uh, phase current and uh, line current are exactly the same. Okay, so that means this is equal as it is given 65 ampere, right? You guys agree? Yeah. Okay, so the next thing, the load phase current. How we find the load phase current? That means this current, right? It is not same as line current. Let's say IP. IP should be i l divided by root three okay so that means 65 divided by root three so what will be the answer Thirty-seven point five three ampere. Okay, that's correct. 
37.53 ampere okay guys uh, you all got the same answer guys you all got the same answer is it clear, uh, clear to you yep yep clear okay. okay great yeah okay now that's it so so here guys in this tutorial we look at uh, balance delta and star network and load mainly right so then the calculation related to them so then we will look at so what will happen when we have unbalanced network okay unbalanced star and unbalanced uh, delta so again guys you can find another activity activity two and like uh, just below the activity one so just uh, download that one guys Can you guys see this one? Yeah. Okay. Now guys, uh, okay, first start with Q2, okay? Read the uh, question carefully. So then after that. Okay, guys, how we solve this? Like, what is the difference uh, here compared to that uh, balance network? So, okay, when we look at this diagram, guys, uh, what are the given values? So, line voltage is given, right? Line voltage is given, that means this voltage, okay? Mm. So, that is 415. So what we need to find is uh, this line current. So okay. So how we find them, guys? Okay, guys, like uh, now think uh, what are these voltages? Okay, these voltages, so they are having 120 degree phase difference. Okay, isn't it? Guys, do you agree? Let's say uh, 
this yeah. is one okay so maybe let's say this is a uh, voltage between okay phase voltage let's say i will say like r pr okay so voltage across this uh, resistor r so then what will be the voltage across uh, b so it is 120 degree uh, head compared to er okay so that is vb okay now i can draw third one that is pw here right so now this is uh, 120 degree okay this is how much 120 120 but negative right because it's opposite direction agree yeah okay so because okay now okay these are voltage now guys what is this voltage phase voltage what we have is line voltage right so how we calculate the phase voltage that is equal v b v r v w they are equal to phase voltage this phase voltage that is equal line voltage divided by square root of 3 okay that means 415 divided by square root of 3 so what is that value this is 239.6 again okay very good 239 yeah 239.6 volt okay that's correct okay now can we find each of this current because uh, the phase is as indicated it is zero okay so then what will what will be the current let's say ir ir that is equal so the voltage that is uh, 239.6 this is zero degree divide by five you guys agree So what will be the answer? Uh, so 47.8. Okay, let's say 48. Okay, yep. 48, what is the angle? Angle zero again. Okay, that's correct, MP, okay. <laughs> now tell me what is uh, I, IB? I B that is equal so V B that is uh, two hundred and thirty nine point six one twenty degree divide by five um, right yeah what will be the answer. Yes, guys, what is the answer? <coughs> uh, 47.8. Yeah, 48. Angle zero. Uh, is it uh, zero? Oh, sorry. Angle uh, 120. Yeah, very good. Yeah, 120. Okay, that is the answer. So then IW 239.6 120 divided by uh what is that ten, right? yeah 10 right 10 zero degree so what will be that what is the answer okay. 24 angle negative 120 mm. okay that's correct 24 okay you guys agree with this answer yeah okay in that way guys uh, we can solve this okay so now next thing uh, we need to find total of this current right how we find the total 
so we need to add them together right i total that is equal uh yeah let's say i total that is equal i i r plus i b plus i w okay okay now if that is so guys so how we add them together now these are like uh, in uh phase annotation right so if you want to conveniently add them together convert them into polar form so then it is very easy to add okay so how we convert each of these value into uh like yeah so complex number four bit difficult so i'll just let my calculator do it okay j notation ah yeah that's correct uh we'll uh convert them into a uh, complex form then it is easier for us to like uh, uh, show it okay so i think in calculator you can easily do it right with the face of all yep sure can okay but uh, i'll show you like uh, how to convert them okay guys yeah so what about this one in complex notation i r yes i r because face angle is zero that mean it is real right then we can say it is 48 okay 48 so what about uh, this one i b guys i b we have uh real part as well as imaginary part okay what is the real part if you take uh, cos 120 so then you will get the uh real part that means 48 cos 120 okay then to get the imaginary part so this 48 sine then 120 j okay tell me guys what is this value what is it 48 cos 120 Guys, what is the value here? Guys, you got the value? Are you guys with me? Yeah, hold on. It's perhaps in the calculator. Okay. guys here what you get is negative 24 okay minus 24 like this so then plus uh what you get here uh 41.3 41.4 say 41.4 j uh, okay that's correct 41 point uh let me guys okay. guys isn't it uh, 41.57 double check the answer slight difference okay it's not a uh, big difference five seven j okay now this is the answer same way convert uh, iw also to complex form now that is you guys agree with the uh, ib right yeah i had a bit of a mix up i uh, didn't okay. put the 0.6 on the end of the 239 
Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. Now tell me what is the answer here? I W. So this is uh, twenty four cos. Are you ready for the answer? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I got negative 11.98. 11 11.98. 11 mm, okay. That's correct. Yeah. 11.9. Yeah. That is negative because it is uh, downward. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. And then uh, minus uh, 20.75J. 20.75J. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay, now how we add them together? So you can add real part first, okay? Real part first. So what you get? That means 24, this 11.9, and also in IB, I uh, R, so you have. Uh, this value as it is 48 add them together first guys tell me what you get so what you get there it's 12.1 very good, 12.1, uh, yeah, 12.1. So then what is the imaginary part? Then you need to add these two together. Uh, 20.82. Mm, that's correct. 20. Point a two j agree guys you agree so now guys yeah tell me what is the uh, final answer in uh, phase of form like polar form What is the magnitude? What is the angle? Uh, 24.08, angle mm -hmm. 59.84 de degrees. Mm. Correct, correct. That's correct. I'll tell you how to get that value. So to get the magnitude, so it is 12.1 square plus 20.82 square and square root, okay? how we get the angle that is tan inverse 20.82 divided by 12.1 agree guys you guys agree yeah yeah okay so then tell me guys uh, answer again 24 point uh, 24 point 08 okay. angle 59 point Eight four. Okay. Okay. Okay, good guys. So now this is the answer. That is a total current. Okay. Let's say I total. I total. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you guys are okay with that calculation, guys? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you guys can watch it again. Okay. So it is not that hard, right? Only thing individually, we need to work out the current and so on. They are not the same because we have different, different uh, impedance. And also, one important thing, guys, 
so when we solve question like this we are not normally getting uh, alternator with uh, different phase impedance and so on because generally they are uh, construct with equal impedance okay equal impedance generally what happen is the load that we connect that is not a balanced one okay most of the question that you are getting so you are getting question with unbalanced load is that clear yeah yeah okay okay then guys uh, look at the question one Okay, guys, I'll draw the diagram. This is some system like this, okay? Uh, first one, we have res uh, resistance and inductive reactance, okay? Second one, resistance and capacitive reactance. Uh, third one, resistance and inductive reactance, okay? Maybe I will draw it like this. So then here, let's say this is one, this is two, okay? Two to three, okay like this now guys this sequence is given for us to identify each of these uh, one right one two so then it is one that means this is line one so you need to look at this one l1 l2 and l3 that is the sequence right so then l1 to l2 this is the one that means this is 31 ohms 31 ohms so then excel that is 59 no then 2 to 3 uh, it is capacity 2 to 3 that means this one 
that is 30 ohms. This one Xc that is C equal 40 ohms. Okay. Now what is this resistance, guys? Guys, what is this resistance? So that is L3 and L1. Okay. Resistance is 80 ohms. And inductive reactance that is 60 ohms. Guys, you all okay with this setup? Yeah. How did you know that it was delta to London? Just because what of the. How did you know to put it in delta like that? Uh, yeah, it is uh, loader connected across the three phase supply phase sequence. Okay. Uh, okay, so thing is here, we need to mention it is delta, okay? So you mean because the, in the question we don't have delta, right? Yeah, yeah. Just okay, sorry. Guys, so actually, delta. I put this question that is as example for delta, and uh, delta word should be here, okay? That's correct, yeah. Yeah, I was so wondering the same thing. Yeah, it's cool. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's a good question anyway. Yeah. So I want to pick two examples for delta and star network. This, this delta, okay? Okay. Now, uh, okay. So what are the given value? Line, line voltage is given. Okay. Line voltage that is for each of the case. 240 volt okay mm, now that is so so current we can mark like this okay, and like this so that is i1 maybe uh, i2 Likewise, we can mark the current, okay? Now, guys, uh, next thing, we need to find phase voltage, right? How do you find the phase voltage? Is it, is it just the same? Uh, is it, uh, yeah, same as line voltage, that's correct, yeah. Voltage is same, but we need to have some angles, right? So we'll consider one as a zero angle. So that means, let's say this is a V12, okay? V12 this direction. So then we can say um, V31, 31, so into this direction. When we rotate it, guys, so you can see this is V. Mm, three one so this is they are each with uh, 120 degree then two three v two three okay we want to mean guys uh, this voltage okay this voltage so we are rotating it uh, like this okay when we rotate it like this so then we can see guys, this one become like this, okay? That means three one. You guys agree? Guys? Guys, are you, are you guys agree with me? Yep, yeah, Kira. Okay, now this is uh, 120 guys, okay? 120, 120. Then this voltage is uh, 240 zero angle okay this is uh, 240 what is the angle negative 120 oh sorry negative. Just, negative. okay yeah. so this negative. one okay this one 240 negative 120 okay okay now uh, we have the voltage value now, can we calculate the uh, current for each of the phase? How we calculate the current, guys? Uh, 
So will the will the phase voltage have the same angle or will the uh, yeah that's correct yeah so voltage is uh, angle but uh, this one guys we have to uh, consider the uh, impedance okay how we can see the impedance so this one we can calculate it like this so 31 square plus uh 52 59 59 square then take the square root how we get the angle yes, that's ten yeah. yeah that's correct uh 10 inverse so first uh, i will write it in follow form guys uh, so because this is inductive road uh, the road right so the this is like uh, in complex form 31 is it plus or minus guys can you guys remember in if it is inductor is it plus or minus is it that's plus in it? yeah plus 59j okay so then uh, yeah that is how we write it okay so then this one capacitor then that is 30 minus 40j you guys agree yeah because this one yep. negative right so then here it is 80 plus 60j okay agree in Agreed. complex notation capacitive reactance we uh, write it like uh, so negative inductive it is positive okay now because this is important guys now when you take the angle here then tan inverse tan inverse uh, 59 divided by 31 okay so now in this situation it is tan inverse negative 40 divided by 30 so then in this situation tan inverse 60 divided by 80 you guys agree guys yep i agree okay now tell me what are the values yes uh, so in polar form so if you convert them so what are the values uh, is it oh, sorry uh, uh first tell me like this one 60.65 so uh tell me again is it 66.65 the first one that's right. correct yeah yeah that's and correct the angle will be 62.3 i Very think good. yeah yeah 66 point shall i write like seven yeah 62.3 that's correct yeah so what happened here this one yes guys tell me the answer uh the Z2, I think, is 50 ohms and negative 53 for the angle. Uh, 50 ohms and negative 53. Give me uh, guys. Negative 53.1, that might be wrong. Sorry. Uh, Sorry. So, guys, so you need to look at this one, right? So this is, I want to calculate this one first, okay? Oh, sorry, you're doing Z3. Sorry, I was yeah. doing Z3. Yeah, uh, that, one's, that one's 100, I think. 100 ohms. Yeah, that's, the, that's the 100. Angle. <coughs> yeah, 36.9 degrees. Okay. Now tell me this one. Uh, 
you said it is 50 right Yep, if you're right. correct. Okay. Uh, wait, twice. <clears throat> yeah, that's correct. Huh? Yeah, that's correct. See, guys, uh, 50 point, yeah, 50, yeah. Yeah, 50. So then what will be the angle? Uh, negative 53.1. That's correct, yeah. Okay, now in that way, guys, we can find the uh, uh, phase voltage, right? So in polar form, okay, polar form. Now when you have these figures, guys, uh sorry impedance so impedance in uh, polar form now when you have these figures guys can we calculate the current yes how we calculate the current current is equal v phase divided by is at phase right so now guys uh, you need to divide so each of this value what vp value by this impedance okay so then you are getting the current in the each phase. So I want to because it is a uh, 240 uh, angle zero. So then uh, we have uh, the impedance I have value this one guys. So then I will write answer here. I'll do it this one. This way you can calculate it, guys. I want to, that is 240, okay, angle zero, divide by 66.7, angle 62.3. So the answer is 33.6. Three degree, okay, guys. You can check this one. I'll just write the answer, okay. I two three, so that is equal two hundred and forty one twenty degree divided by fifty fifty three point one, so that will be four point eight angle negative 66.9 so then i31 2.4 angle 83.1 degree now guys double check these answers okay so we calculated up to this point we found the voltage and also the impedance now it is all about dividing that uh, voltage with the impedance to find the phase current okay are you guys okay guys yeah i'm okay okay so here guys this is how we got this value so it is 240 120 degree divided by 100 36.9 degree okay this is how you got that value okay because we already calculated these values now that is how we calculate uh, phase current so is that enough guys for today guys yeah i think so okay Okay, guys, uh, I will upload this video maybe uh, during the weekend. So you guys can go through it again. And also, guys, uh, you guys can work out it again alone. So then uh, if you stuck, so maybe you can refer the video and you can do it again. Okay. So in that way, guys, uh, you can understand the process.
Yeah, that's all good. Thank you, you remember Thank a you. couple of weeks ago, Talonga, you were doing something like this and you were like, you were taking 30 degrees away from it. Was that going delta to star or something like that? 30 degrees away? Ah, it is, it is uh, something else. So that is actually, so uh, some source, we are trying to calculate the current, right? Yeah. So it is something else. It's a few, yeah, it's between the, the source yeah. and the load. Yeah, okay. We only discuss about source, isn't it? Like, uh, yeah. So well, it we is do, like yeah. load, load current and phase current. Something like that. When we know the load current, how we decide phase current. In addition to that, like uh, the magnitude difference, we have a slight difference in the uh, phase as well. Okay. Same thing applies to voltage, uh, line voltage and phase voltage. Can you guys remember? So yeah, got a bit confused take, like, with that. Was... Difference. Yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's right. Uh, if we're going to go back to it another time, that'd be all good. But that one had me confused. But even in that electrical principles we did last year. Okay, yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Everything else was fine until we got to that. And then it just uh, threw yeah. me a curve or what can follow. Yeah. Okay, yeah, guys, uh, all we did is like uh, we found the values of this uh, phase voltage or maybe the line voltage. So that is same, right? We don't need to do any shift there. So then we have the uh, phase voltage, phase voltage divided by impedance. You should get the current, okay? So because of that, we don't need to apply that sort of shift here in this situation. Okay, guys. Yep, that's all good. Okay. I'm sure we'll come across it again. Okay, you know, yeah. Ask questions then. Yeah, okay. Okay, guys, uh, this answer also uh, printed form also available. If you look at that section, so you will find the answers. Okay, so maybe, yeah. So just go through them, guys. So, okay. So enjoy the rest of the day. So good night. We'll see you next week again. Okay. Yeah, all good. Thanks, Tom. Okay. okay. Thanks, guys. Bye. Good night.